So what's happening my friends? How is everyone doing? So today we're making a very very simple like Mangalorean style fish curry. This is like my mom's recipe and uh, if I mess it up she's going to call me. So let's try and avoid that. Let's start the recipe. So let's go shuru karte hain. This may look like a lot of hard work but trust me it's a very simple recipe. Let's get a pan ready and we're going to dry roast the chilies. Now I've used Kashmiri chilies and some Guntur chilies. One is for color and one is for a little bit of heat. We're going to dry roast these till it starts to smoke and like you know softens up a bit. Then just transfer it to a bowl. Back to the same pan isme dalenge the spices, some coriander, some jeera, black peppercorns, some mustard seed, a little bit of ajwain and some methi seed. these are fenugreek seeds again dry roast them till they start to smoke up a bit and start to brown a bit i've seen certain households that do this part by adding a little bit of coconut oil to this as well but it's completely optional that goes into this bowl as well we're going to add some roughly chopped onions some garlic some ginger nice ball size tamarind we next add the coconut freshly grated coconut is absolutely crucial we'll add some water and a little bit of turmeric powder and this goes to grind till it becomes nice and thick the masala should be able to hold it Help. Make sure you just add the right amount of water, and if you can grind it finer than this, nothing like it. My mixer could just achieve so much. And with that, 50% of your recipe is done. So, oil me, thoda kadai garam kar lije. Add the curry leaves and some chopped up onions. This is known as the puni or the tadka or the temper. Some people do it, some people don't. I'm just gonna go ahead with it. Fry the onions just till they start to brown. After which, we're gonna add a lot of that masala. Now, I'm not adding all of it, but five to six big tablespoons of the masala. then we're just going to cook this nice and slowly for about 3 to 4 minutes till the water in the masala kind of reduces and the color also will slightly change so make sure you do this so that you can just cook the spices up a little bit after which we're just going to add water to this now this colored water is basically mixer ke andar pani dal ke wohi dala hai add a lot of water and let it be very runny this is not a thick gravy guys this is a south indian curry this is not a north indian creamy thick curry salt is very crucial kuli munchi is generally on the sour and a salty side make sure you salt it well mix that all up nicely i'm going to add a little more water because i want the consistency to be little more runny the consistency you can just see with this spoon over here we're going to cover it and let it boil for at least 5 to 6 minutes after which we're going to poach the fish in this piping hot curry guys it smells incredible already now make sure you're very gentle after this point because you don't want to break up that fish i'm going to adjust the taste with a little bit of tamarind and a little bit of salt again cover it oops i forgot one thing we need to add some slit green chilies now cover it and let it cook for at least 5 to 6 minutes or a little bit more make sure you keep an eye on it and in no time this beautiful and very simple fish curry is ready guys just serve it in a bowl and i'm telling you this is going to be a regular dish in your homes make sure you make it with some nice fresh fish and serve it with some hot steamed rice and that is the recipe my friends truly simple truly comforting very homely and it's actually a great pleasure to share this recipe things that i've grown up eat and i hope you guys can try out this recipe the fish is just moist and soft and everything on this plate works and ditch the spoon yeah you can just eat this with your hands and i want you guys to try this recipe and let me know what you think and aur kuch nahi i'll see you later guys